All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to lose weight and gain muscle for beginners. The goal of this video is just to give you 11 tips on what you can do to get started. This video was requested, so if you guys have any more suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. You can DM me, all my social media is down below in the description as well. So tip number one, eat cleaner, choose healthier options. I know it's like super easy to get carried away with just eating junk food, processed food, frozen food, fast food, if I already said that, snacking. I know it's like super easy just to like go to the convenience store on your lunch break or after work, etc. You get, I don't know, I don't know what people eat, bags of chips, candies, sodas. I know a lot of people drink soda, soda's not good for your body. So the best thing you can do is go to the grocery store after you've done made up a meal plan, you know, do your research. My suggestion is get like whole foods, you know, uh, meats, vegetables, fruits if you're into that. Stuff that you can actually take home and cook and you know that's like actually healthier for you. Definitely meal prep, that's, that's like the way to go. Tip number two, drink more water. I'm gonna suggest that you drink at least a gallon of water a day. At first, it's gonna be super hard to get all that down. You're gonna feel bloated and full and you're gonna be peeing all the time. But over time, I promise you, it's gonna get a lot easier. You're gonna be addicted. Water's amazing, I, I love it. Also, cut back the sugary drinks, soda, sweet tea, anything like that, completely cut that out. I know if you go out to eat with like a family or you're at some kind of party, like a like a job party or a Christmas party or Thanksgiving, etc. I'm no one's gonna judge you for having a little bit of something, you know what I mean? But definitely cut back on all the sugary drinks. Alcohol. Cut back on that. I'm not saying completely get rid of it, because I even like to have a good time. I know people who work out and look great, I know that they love alcohol. Just cut back on it. Don't I I would suggest like if you're trying to live this kind of lifestyle, you're not gonna be drinking throughout the week. I know most of the time it's gonna be on the weekends. And when you're drinking, just remember your goal. Tip number three, we've kind of touched up on this. Quit snacking, quit getting fast food, cut out the sugary snacks, high carb snacks. This is gonna help you on the long road. I promise this is a long, a long journey this does not happen in three months it doesn't happen in six months although you do see progress the big stuff does not happen until long term and just cutting out the small stuff like snacks and fast food is huge tip number four take progress photos this is huge this is huge I have a tip i'm going to be talking about on the scale but progress photos help you out so much i took my first photo and then compared it to my three month photo, then I compared it to my six month photo, and I compared it to my nine month, and a year, and so on. And I could just tell a huge, huge difference. Go follow my Instagram page, you'll see the changes. Like I've been doing this almost two years, and within a year and a half or so plus, I think I'm at 15, 16, excuse me, you can see a huge difference in my body, it's insane. So take progress photos, I would recommend Doing it when you start off maybe every week every other week You're gonna see some crazy improvement You'll be able to compare your first day to your first month to your second month to your third month And then maybe when you hit like your sixth month you you can put it up against the first month and you'll just see like a huge difference and Just take your fo progress photos Tip number five like I said earlier don't worry about a scale don't watch the scale unless you're being like super strict and hard on yourself there's no reason to get a scale when you're when you're trying to lose weight and gain muscle you're basically doing bodybuilding you're building your body you're sculpting it you don't really need a scale a scale is not going to tell you much why because when you lose fat and build muscle your weight's going to fluctuate so much unless you're trying to hit a goal weight i mean obviously check the scales but it's not necessary at all Tip number six, be consistent. Show up every day. Gym. For me, when I quit high school sports, I was in and out of the gym. I didn't have any teammates or coaches pushing me. I didn't have any games coming up. I didn't have any matches coming up. So I was really inconsistent. 
But this last time being consistent for like 15 months now, dude, I have seen the best progression I've ever seen in my life ever. It takes time to build your body. And I'm not talking about, okay, we'll go work out for a couple weeks, take a couple weeks off, go back for a week, take another week off. That's, that's not gonna work. You have to go every single day. If you want it that bad, you gotta go every single day for the rest of your life. For me to see a huge change, in the first two, three months, I actually gained weight, but I put on a lot of muscle. I was putting up real crazy weight. And then after that, the three, the four, the five month, I could tell my body was shredding fat. And it wasn't until I cut that I dropped 50 pounds this last year, and it was just amazing. And I was going every single day, even when the gyms were closed and we were in quarantine. I made it a priority to go on runs, do hit cardio, and do calisthenics. Being consistent is key. Number seven, build a regimen. I know when you go in at first, I'm gonna recommend when you go to the gym, just kind of learn what you're doing, watch videos, learn what you're doing, get comfortable lifting the weights. You don't have to start out heavy, but eventually you need to have a workout plan. You need to go in there with the mindset of, okay, I'm gonna be hitting chest and back today. Tomorrow I'm gonna be hitting uh, shoulders and traps. Next day I'm gonna be doing biceps and triceps. And then the next day you're gonna be hitting legs. I mean, there's four right there, there's seven days. You can squeeze in another chest and back, another leg day, a full body workout. YouTube has plenty of workout regimens and workout plans that you can go look. Especially if you're trying to lose weight and build muscle, look up a cutting program. Tip number eight. And I'm gonna recommend doing one gram of protein per body pound. So I weigh 240, and I've actually done this before. I'm not gonna shoot for 240 grams of protein. Even though I could, that's fine. I'm in a cut, so I'm doing one gram of protein per body, lean body pound. So mine is about 190 to 200, so I'm gonna be shooting for 200 just to keep it up a little high so I can you know, build some muscle while I'm cutting. But do your research. Look up BMI calculator, look up TDE calculator, and that's gonna kinda guide you where your lean body mass is and how much body fat percentage you have. And then, you know, YouTube some videos on that or I can make another. So if you're obviously trying to lose weight but gain muscle, do the one gram of protein per body weight, but you have to stay in a calorie deficit. Tip number nine, research often. YouTube University, if you have any questions, I can obviously answer these questions because I've been doing this for a while and help you out the best of my knowledge. But if you're looking for something like right away, right now, dude, YouTube has so many videos and answers so many questions that you have. YouTube's helped me out. YouTube's helped me help other people. Always do your research. Google's good too. Tip number 10, listen to your body. Listen to what your body likes to eat Listen to your body because it loves it when you stretch. Because when you when you eventually get into higher weights, you have to start stretching. Listen to your body or you're gonna hurt it. And when you get used to working out, a huge thing that you're gonna start to notice is your, your brain and muscle connection. You're gonna be lifting weights and you're gonna actually feel your brain and your muscles like having some kind of connection. And that's like a huge like trip in my opinion because like I've never had that like that click in my head before, you know, in high school when we were lifting weights, it was just like, go get through the workout. But when you're actually focusing on building your body, there's like some crazy kind of like brain and muscle connection that just makes it like a tenfold, like 10 times better than like just going in there and be like, okay, it's chest and back day, let me knock this out. But when you actually focus on it, dude, it, I swear it builds your body so much better, it's amazing. Just listen to what your body likes, listen to what your body doesn't like when it comes to food, when it comes to rest, when it comes to lifting, when it comes to everything. Just really like listen. And tip number 11, this is the last tip of the video. Get plenty of rest, get plenty of sleep. I know we're young, and we're super busy, I'm gonna recommend, if you're like super, super busy, if you're like an entrepreneur, you just got like two jobs and you're just go, 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 go. Minimum, I would say six hours. But if you're like, if you have time, I would definitely suggest eight hours, seven to eight hours for rest. Because that's gonna help your muscles recover. And another tip, an extra tip, take a protein supplement. That's gonna help your body 
kind of build up what you just tore down. It's gonna help those, those muscle fibers grow back stronger and thus you progressing and lifting more weight, building your body, making you look better, making you feel better. If you guys thought this video helped you out in any way, please like the like button down below, leave a comment. Also leave a suggestion down below if you have any other questions. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. Best of luck to everybody who is gonna be hitting the gyms this New Year's or even before that. Um, good luck to all the beginners out there. I know it's a long journey, but I promise you it's gonna be worth it. Look good, feel good, it's amazing guys. Don't wait, start today, not tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Peace.